look at the final in-class activity for today's lecture. Find the solution zero state response and zero input response for the following difference equation. X of n plus two minus X of n plus one plus 0.25 X of n equals F of n minus one minus F of n, where X of zero is equal to zero, X of one is equal to one, and F of n, the input is equal to the step U of n. So the first thing we're going to do is to write the z-transform of this difference equation, and we're going to have z squared x of z minus z squared x of zero minus z x of one minus z x of z minus z x of zero plus 0 0.25 x of z, which equals z inverse f of z minus f of z. Now we're going to collect like terms. So on the left, we're going to collect all the terms that include x of z. So I have z squared minus z plus 0 0.25, that quantity times x of z. And on the right side, I'm going to have z squared x of zero plus z x of one minus z x of zero plus z inverse f of z minus f of z. So solving for x of z, x of z is equal to z squared x of zero plus z x of one minus z x of zero over, I'm going to write the denominator in a compact form, it's the quantity z minus 0 0.5 squared, plus z inverse minus one quantity times f of zero over z minus 0 0.5 squared. So the zero input response is equal to z squared x of zero, but notice that x of zero is a zero, so this x of one is a one, so this reduces to z over z minus 0 0.5 squared. And the zero state response, x z s r of z, is equal to z inverse minus one f of z over z minus 0 0.5 squared, or if I put in the value for f of z, this becomes z inverse minus one times z over z minus one times z minus 0 0.5 squared. The transfer function h of z is equal to x z s r of z over f of z, which equals z inverse minus one over z minus 0 0.5 squared, which can also be written as one minus z over z times z minus 0 0.5 squared. So when you find the inverse z transform of this, you get that h of n, and this is using that delay feature that we used before, is equal to four delta of n minus one, and this is your impulse response, minus four times one half to the n minus one, u of n minus one, plus n minus one times one half to the n minus two, u of n minus two, okay? And this is using the property from the z-transform table that bz to the z minus one squared, the inverse z transform is n b to the n u of n. So now let's find zir of n. So x zir of n, we can get this solution directly from the table as well. And when we do that, we get 2n times 0 0.5 to the n, u of n. Next, let's find 
ZSR of N. X ZSR of N is equal to negative the quantity N minus one times one half to the N minus two, U of N minus one. So finally, our complete solution is when we put both of these together. So we're going to have X of N equal to X ZIR of N plus X ZSR of N, which equals one half to the N minus two times one minus N over two, U of N minus two plus delta of N minus one. So finally, we can check our work by checking either X of zero, X of one, or both. We see that this function's not on at time zero, so we get X of zero is equal to zero. And for X of one, the only one that's on is the impulse. So for that, we get X of one is equal to one. And this concludes today's lecture on solving difference equations.